Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that provide context for today's public affairs issues. This is Korea, is a 1951 film documenting the hardships faced by U.S. forces on the Korean Peninsula. Funded by the U.S. Navy and directed by Academy Award winner John Ford, this 50-minute film was produced about six months after the war began when North Korea invaded South Korea on June 25, 1950. In the first major conflict of the Cold War, North Korea was backed by China and the Soviet Union, while the U.S. led the United Nations force in support of South Korea. This is Korea. Now look at this, and look at it, and look at it. That's what the Korean Republic is fighting for. Miles and miles and miles of homeless refugees set adrift by the Red Scourge. Whole families starving, fear-ridden, without hope beyond the United Nations. Shots for smallpox and typhus. And they don't understand. But they will. It was a big problem what to do with the orphan kids they picked up. They had to leave them somewhere before they reached the front. So they asked these good women to take them. Little Babe Ruth DiMaggio was not quite sure what it was all about. Solomon confused, frightened, until he found friends and smiled in trust. Hey, nuns don't smoke, you dope. Candy, chewing gum. For the kids. But you have to teach them how to eat it. Poor, frightened little fellows. Then we move out once again. It's colder now. And how cold it gets in Korea. Brass monkey cold. And that's cold. Wet, too. Moving north into war's desolation. General Chesty Puller, four times winner of the Navy Cross. Put some more fire down on those people. Twenty freezing degrees below. Makes a man wonder what he did with his last summer's pay, don't it? Now the prisoners come in. Prime looking lot, aren't they? We searched them. We smashed their weapons. We questioned them. This young kid says they killed his mother and father and gave him a gun. That's all he knows about the war. 
But these wise mugs were tough. They clammed up, they wouldn't sing. Remember us. And remember us. <laughs> 